All right, Mark here cooking books and bringing info. So I'm going to attempt to, to answer a question. We always hear why do things keep happening in life? Like why do these things keep happening? You know, and these things, I let you use your imagination to fill in that blank, whatever these, those things may be. Uh, but here's, here's what I think is a, is a universal or uh, ecumenical answer. Like this answer, one size fits all. Feedback loops. Feedback loops are, are embedded in every aspect of life. Uh, the positive feedback loops and the negative feedback loops. And let me tell you real quick, real quick, what, what they are. Feedback loops are a thermostat, for instance. A thermostat, this is called a negative feedback loop. Uh, negative feedback loops, they are designed to maintain stability, equilibrium, or homeostasis. Our bodies have these mechanisms uh, in our endocrine system. And what they do, a uh, good example is a thermostat. A thermostat has a preset temperature. If the room falls below that temperature, the, furnace, the, the thermostat triggers, activates the furnace to bring the heat back to that pre predetermined room temperature. If it falls below, it turns the heat on. Now, if it goes above that temperature, it turns the heat off to bring the temperature, again, back to the uh, pre predetermined room temperature. So that that right there is a positive is a negative feedback loop. A positive feedback loop is uh, I'll give you a, a use business for example. I'm in the stock market, right? So the stock market some some uh, cataclysmic or you know for instance COVID nineteen, right? Something like COVID nineteen happens, the stock market drops ten percent. That triggers uh, a, a generates a large amount of fear in investors, right? So investors panic. It creates panic. And as a result of the panic, they sell more stock. So the stock market drops 10%, triggers panic and fear. Investors sell more stock. That selling of more stock generates and creates more fear. And in that fear that's created generates more selling. And that more selling continues to generate more fear and that new fear generates a new panic selling and you see where i'm going right so it's a cycle the the input affects the output the output feeds back and affects the input the input continues to feed the output the output continues to feed the input and that cycle now you're stuck in what's called a feedback loop so the so the stock market is an excellent example the more the more you know, the COVID-19 happens, there's a fear, stocks sell off, people get afraid, they, they sell more stock, uh, the stock continues, the market continues to drop, people continue to become more afraid, they continue to sell, and that cycle, it just continues. It, it's just, so you're stuck in what's called a feedback loop. And that, that, that cycle does not differentiate uh, whether it affects, uh, affects something on a large scale or something on a minor scale. It, it can affect a group of people and it can affect an individual. You and your wife get in an argument or you and your, your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend get into an argument and you, that the mechanism behind the argument is the feedback loop, right? You say this, she say that. She says this, you in turn say that. You in turn say that, she in turn says this. And that's a feedback loop. It's this feedback loop affecting you on an individual basis. And the feedback loop affects... Uh, you on a, a like I said, whether it's a faction, which is a large group, or uh, a couple, right? So it can affect you individually in terms of a relationship. It can affect you uh, economically in terms of the business analogy I just gave you, and then it can affect you uh, individually in terms of your body, right? Because your endocrine system has this mechanism of feedback loop that determines, you know, your body temperature, right? whether you sweat or you don't sweat is based off your feedback loops certain grant certain glands that secrete certain hormones is based off feedback loop without getting too technical and going to details just understand that feedback the feedback loop mechanism which is what i really want to sell and focus on governs and controls all of our functions all of our behaviors and it is a a, a universal feature it is a feature of the universe okay uh so climate change, we see it in climate change, you know, we see it in so many areas in the environment, in the ecosystem. So it's so important to understand, you know, feedback loops and understand when you're in one and how to break it. 
the way you break a feedback loop is to understand, first of all, that you're in a feedback loop. So if you're arguing with your woman, for instance, if you don't know that you're in a feedback loop, right, you're going to continue to fight with her. That fight is never going to stop. It's never going to stop. And here's what I mean when I say never going to stop. It might res have what's called a respite, which is just a temporary break from the fight. But if you're not aware that the energy is still in, in, is in effect, it just means you're, it's like you're in between rounds, like a boxing match. You're in between rounds. And when the bell goes, you're going to go back to fighting. Because you're, you're not aware that your that energy is in play. It's, in, it's set in motion. You have set that energy in motion and you have not dealt with the energy. You know, you might think, okay, we had an argument today. We squashed it. It's done. Not if you haven't dealt with the energy. If that feedback loop is still switches on, you're going to land right back into that fight tomorrow or next week or whatever the case may be because you haven't dealt with the feedback loop. So first of all, understand what the feedback loop is. Uh, understand how it plays how it we are men is the microcosm of the macrocosm as above so below as within so without hermes trismegistus you know uh you know einstein has a quote that says education gets in the way of learning and i thought at first i didn't understand it but then when i the more i studied and studied, I said wow this is deep education get, gets in the way of learning because some of us become so educated in one dimensional or three dimensional thinking that we forget that we live in a multi-dimensional universe and there are other laws you know we might be educated in 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 mainstream sense of thinking right and what's in, in the mainstream way of thinking we're educated you know academically institutional wise from, from uh, educational institutions you know but when it comes to the universe a lot of us are we're not we, we haven't learned that's what einstein meant you know Education gets in the way of learning because we don't we haven't learned about the multidimensionality. We haven't learned about the universe, the laws of the universe. We haven't learned that we are microcosms, right? We're microcosms of the macrocosm, right? That we are the universe. We're just smaller portions of the universe. We're miniature universes, each and every individual. As above, so with uh, as above, so below, as within, so without. Every atom in your body is a replica of is replicated or is is set up, structured, arranged, just like the solar system. Every single atom in your body has the exact same structure as the solar system. So men are the microcosm of the macrocosm. And if you don't understand how the laws of the universe, the features of the universe, the characteristics, nature, the essence of the universe, then again, when we are involved in these, uh, these, these feedback loops, whether it's, it's on a macro or micro scale, whether it's business or personal, we won't know how to get off this feedback loop if we don't even know that we're involved in a feedback loop. So this is why the, the question, as I said, I, I'm trying to answer the question, why things keep repeating themselves? Whatever that those things may be, you fill in the blanks. Why do we keep having certain killings? Why do we have certain particular killings in particular demographics? in particular regions, in particular groups. Why is homicide higher here, lower there? You know, why are taxes high over here, low over there? Why are crime rates over here, not over there so much? Why are break-ins, burglaries? All of the, the, like I said, these things, you fill it out. All the questions to why things keep happening over and over and over. And no matter how much we try to change the legislation, no matter how much we try to march, no matter how much we try to, you know, uh, educate and speak and this and teach it if we don't get to the source and understand how the universe works and our role then we'll never ever truly be able to stop these feedback loops and that's why these things keep happening feedback loops remember the the, the very simple explanation and definition is is uh input affects output output feeds input and input continues to affect output output continues to feed input and the cycle just goes on and on. And the input and the output could be anything you want to place into it. I gave you some examples. Stock market, you know, selling off and people getting afraid and selling and it can, you know, goes back and forth. You know, uh, the thermostat, you know, your, the endocrine system. These are several examples. So till next time, you know, Mark here, Cooking Books, bringing info peace.